an 18-year-old Filipina and I will show you how to travel the Philippines. Philippines. Philippines is not like any other country you ever visited in the past. It is a hotpot of diverse, glorious culture shaped by its colorful history. It is a place filled with untouched gems, unspoiled landscapes, and silky, almost powder-like consistency beaches, and the sunsets. The sunsets in the Philippines is not like anything that you've ever seen from other countries. Well, all of these are due to the fact that we are an archipelago located in the Southeast Asia, comprised of 7,641 islands. Well, all of these are something to be proud of as a Filipino. But the people of the Philippines is what makes our country special. Filipinos are the backbone of this country. They are lively, warm, resilient, and quite probably the most interesting group of people you would ever meet in your life. Filipinos are extraordinary people living a life enriched with happiness, despite everything that is going on with their life. In our country, there is always something to be happy and thankful for. So let me tell you more. I know just like me, you have been dying to go out of your house to travel again. This pandemic has put a pause on all of our lives. Needless to say, I will put in the screen all the necessary travel health guidelines we need when visiting our country next. Now, I will give you my top 5 recommendations on where to go first when visiting the Philippines, plus some insider tips from a local. First on the list is Manila. Manila is our country's capital. I know some people will click this video to find out where the best beaches are, but you cannot miss out on Manila. Manila can offer a huge variety of options for different kinds of travelers, different kinds of options, different kinds of choices. Manila has it all. Next is Batangas. Batangas is perfect for people who want a quick getaway that is near Manila. Batangas is quick, affordable, accessible, and I have a recommendation to go to. It is in San Juan, La Ia, Batangas. It is on the southern part of Batangas, but the views of this place are spectacular. Third on the list is Palawan. Either Coron, El Nido, San Vicente, Amanpolo, Puerto Princesa. You can never go wrong with these places. Palawan is an international renowned tourist spot. Fun fact, El Nido has been named as the best beach for a few years now. So take it from the experts. They know what they're doing. Actually, if you think that Palawan can be quite expensive for a first-time traveler, do not worry because there are some teaching guides or traveling guides on how to travel this place without breaking the bank. But if you are a person who enjoys a fun nightlife with beautiful sceneries, you have to try Boracay. Boracay is somewhat like a miniature Metro Manila in terms of its infrastructures and establishments. It has a lot of supermarkets, grocery stores, cinemas even, but with a beautiful beach on the side and a fun nightlife. And last but not the least, if you are a person who is already tired of the hustle and bustle of the city and just wanted to relax, Shergao is the best place to escape your already chaotic life. Shergao is the best surfing spot in the country. It is uncomplicated, simple, serene, quiet, and this is perfect for people who mirror this kind of lifestyle, or what they call the shaka lifestyle. Now, we move on to the three insider tips from a local. First tip, you have to eat where the locals are eating at. It will give you the most authentic food experience that we have here in the Philippines. Plus, there are no other foreigners visiting. Second tip, you have to try our street foods. Our street foods are not for the faint-hearted, although it is delicious and unique. Plus, it will give you the chance to indulge in our culture. And the third tip, it is a lesson. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. If somewhere else, live as they do. If you travel in another country or another place, chances are they have different upbringing, lifestyle, and culture. Here in the Philippines, Filipinos can speak relatively well in English, although you cannot expect them to adjust in every language that you are comfortable to. So try to speak our language, try to understand our culture, learn from it, and reflect from it. Finally, we're at the end of the video, guys. I just wanted to clear something out. There are people who are worried for your safety in the Philippines. 
but I can guarantee you the safety in the Philippines is just like in any other country. It is reasonably safe, but caution can be helpful from time to time. You see, here is some proof to show you that you can have a fun and safe experience here in the Philippines. Now, I have shown you how picturesque our landscapes are, how wonderful and glorious our culture is, and how amazing our food is in here in the Philippines. But the people of the Philippines will always make this country special. If you like this video, do me a favor, like, comment, and subscribe, and ring the notification bell, and I'll see you on your next travel. Remember, it's a big world out there. Go out and explore. Bye!